and, and that's me, that's me. I came from nothing into something, and that's, I owe everything to God. After great show-ins in 2014, fans were eager to see a mega match between Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather. The way Manny Pacquiao is performing, we want Floyd Mayweather against Manny Pacquiao. People can prepare for the next, next early next year. There still were issues amongst the contract negotiators. Bob Arum is stopping the fight. We have been trying to make this fight happen but the negotiations would eventually be put into the hands of the fighters themselves. In a crazy coincidence, Floyd and Manny attended the same Miami Heat basketball game. I never expected that it was there. The two met face to face for the first time ever, eventually exchanging numbers. Later that night, they met up at Manny's suite and expressed their desire to both make the fight happen. You guys are the prize fighters. Who can stop you two from fighting if you both really want? Early in 2015, the two sides were breaking down the obstacles to the fight, including with the television networks, the drug testing issues which were so significant before, the split with the money, and on February 20th, terms had been agreed and the fight was finally on. Now, finally, he has nowhere to go, his corner. After a dramatic six-year build-up, Pacquiao and Mayweather were scheduled to share the ring. May 2nd in Las Vegas, or if you prefer the countdown, 71 days away, whatever you prefer, it's huge. Right from the first and only press conference, the magnitude of the event was evident, with the two best fighters in the world getting the red carpet treatment. Uh, Manny Pacquiao, he's a solid competitor, and uh, May 2nd, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a, a brilliant game plan. And then came the sight the world was waiting for, Floyd and Manny officially facing off. They'll all be watching this great event unfold. We are in the toughest fight of our life. Uh, we're fighting the best fighter in the world. And we're gonna kick his ass, I'm sorry. But good luck, Floyd. We, we, we will do our best in, 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 in May, on May 2 to, uh, to make you happy. And Pacquiao is one of the best fighters of this era. I'm in the gym working right now, pushing myself to the limit because I never want to win a fight so bad in my life. And I'm pretty sure he's going to push himself to the limit just the same way I want to win. And as the fighters pushed themselves to the limit, the attention of the media followed suit and the attention that this fight attracted was on another level. Nine figures in 36 minutes, truly, truly blessed, I'm thankful. Fans felt that finally Floyd would meet his equal, but with characteristic belief, Floyd felt that he would prove the critics wrong. I'm gonna show you the way you make, make four or five hundred million in the sport. You gotta watch me. We want to say, if anybody ha has a chance of beating Floyd Mayweather, this is the guy. I do have a great game plan. Me and Manny have been working on it for the last two days. It's just that, you know, Mayweather does set traps, but Manny has to recognize when he's setting that trap and nullify it. It's easy to nullify, I promise you. Uh, he said the same thing before, and it's all about the fighters fighting May 2nd and giving the people excitement. He can't run so much anymore because his legs are a little bit shot, and he can't move like he is. He's going to have exchange for And Pacquiao seemed to be just as relaxed, so both camps were brimming with confidence. I'm more worried about the fight when, when I fought De La Hoya and Cotto than this fight. I want, I want him to approach it like he's not nervous. The same mother that kicked his to Marquez, you see what I did to him? I believe in my skills. I want to do it in, in such a beautiful fashion. There's five ways to beat him. There's no way to beat me. 
Floyd and Manny had shared multiple opponents in the past, so they and other fighting legends gave their unique perspective on the matchup. Pacquiao has been in tougher fights. Mayweather, on the other hand, has been somewhat of kind of cruising. A counter puncher Going against aggressive. an aggressor. So something has to give. This is a great matchup in that. Manny Pacquiao, he's gonna go in, he's gonna try and attack. The quickness Manny has, explosive, is his main advantage. Pacquiao is a great fighter. He has speed, he has power, needs to do pressure, but he needs a little intelligence on the ring. Being aggressive on him the whole fight. His uh, strategy, you can beat him. He has to come in this fight better than he'd ever been before. And he, how is he going to overcome this? Pacquiao connect one punch with power, maybe Mayweather going down. This, this can't be an easy fight. This is good. He's going to get hit. Who do you ever fight like this? You ever have a fly in front of you and you can't catch it? Any Pacquiao was like that for eight rounds. He hit me with every punch. Even the arm punch is solid. More explosive punch than Floyd Mayweather. And that that's what might give uh, Mayweather trouble. I think uh, Floyd Mayweather is the best pound for pound fighter. Now this guy's a strategist. This, this guy uh, knows how to calculate his punches. Floyd Mayweather think, try to be one or two step ahead. He's looking for opportunities as he rolls. He want Pacquiao to extend himself. I think he likes people putting the pressure on him. They bring the best out of him. And Mayweather's a master of throwing those, those right hands. He throws them very well. He knows how to throw combinations enough to win the round. At this age, at this time, can he do it now? I think that's going to be important. That's Everything depends on what kind of mind they have on May 2nd. It's very interesting to see what Manny Pacquiao shows up and what Mayweather shows up. When Floyd and Manny showed up at the weigh-in, it was the biggest ever, with the fans who couldn't afford the high-priced tickets getting a glimpse of the two prize fighters. Because most of these people will not get a chance to see the fight in person. This is going to be New Year's Eve times 10. Where were you May 2nd? I was in Vegas, baby. But if you're not a boxing fan, you know this fight's coming. It's once in a lifetime and not gonna happen again. This is definitely the largest fight we've ever had here. The tickets for this fight were also the largest. They were originally priced between 1,500 and 7,500 bucks, but were being resold as high as 150 to 350 thousand dollars. How much did you pay for your tickets? 44 thousand dollars a ticket. With the career high paydays guaranteed for each other. The focus was back on the fighting, and both were in tremendous shape for the biggest event of their lives. 145 pounds at 146 pounds! It was now time for the generation's best two fighters to fight. Mayweather, the older of the two, he has had less ring wear and tear than has Manny Pacquiao. As expected, the atmosphere in the arena was electric. Get anything first, but you have the red gun. Manny Pacman Pacquiao! This fight might never take place. And now, here they are. It feels like the atmosphere of those great fights in the 80s. And in the first three rounds of that fight, Mayweather walked out, Perez down, back to... Manny brought the fight straight to Mayweather, but Mayweather fought well off the back foot. Body shots by Pacquiao. Oh, Alvarez fight is right on point, Roy. Just a long time to get there. Bales was criticized during the Marcus fight. He was trying to get away. Hard right hand when Mayweather is there. Manny quickly found that he couldn't just jump in with his usual aggression, as Mayweather was working the right hand well. Right hand again by Mayweather. He's landing the target. Now he's got Mayweather in the corner. And Mayweather grabs him. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. He landed the left hand of the chest of Mayweather to say, hey, you really think you need to foul me? The See there? Double jab. He goes against the ropes. Manny had to be cautious of Floyd's great counter-punching abilities. Will he get warned for that? That was Pacquiao's best chance, and he'll look for another opportunity like that. Manny's corner knew they needed a better way to get inside. And now let's go to Pacquiao's corner. Where are you going in, eh? There's no one again, okay, son? 
Pacquiao came out even more intent on getting close. The action was heating up and Mayweather had to keep his focus to keep Pacquiao away. Six and the two big right hands, that was a Mayweather round. And I judge with your eyes, a couple of points. Pacquiao's the aggressor but not the effective aggressor. So we're into round four of a scheduled 12. Mayweather was still elusive but Pacquiao was determined to force the action. But oh, he just landed a left hand and it looks like it hurt Mayweather. And maybe hurt Floyd Mayweather. The fight was now getting the drama that fans were hoping for. But how would Mayweather respond? By him doing that, he could give a round away. What body shot to do that? Yeah, but the difference is at exactly the same percentage against left and left hand lands for Pacquiao. He's got them in. That's how Manny Pacquiao was able to get some things done. Pacquiao be able to get going at some point. Pacquiao in his tracks and disrupt his timing. This is where ropes. This is a hand and lunging in. And some judges might give it to Pacquiao. Yes. Pacquiao's punches wasn't landing as much as they usually do with other fighters, but Mayweather Sr. felt that his son would need to do more to dominate the fight in the eyes of the judges. Entering the second half of the fight, Mayweather seemed to be inspired from his father. Well, he should step to the right and get out. So Floyd Mayweather comes back, bumbles him in the next round. He would be ahead on the scorecards. It would be because of the jab. Hard he gets closer down to his pace. There's no way in the world you're going to do. I don't care how good you think you are. Defender than Juan Manuel Marquez and jab as much as people think. Hard left hand. You see the country box numbers of total punches thrown. Manny continued trying to land combinations, whilst Mayweather was comfortable landing solid pot shots. He's got to get his hands going. What point Roy Jones would Manny Pacquiao consider selling out? Pacquiao increased his aggression in round nine. He wants to get for Pacquiao. Pacquiao's got him in a corner. Here's his chance. And the excitement that is generated when Pacquiao lands. Going into the championship rounds, Manny's goal was to add accuracy to his activity, but it was easier said than done. Effective jab that he's had. It's a minute that moves on. I don't know, but he has dumped that out in the lead as well. It's not easy again to get somebody with the accuracy and precision of Floyd Mayweather. No foot movement from him to try and attack an angle. Hunts Manny Pacquiao with right hand counter shots. Lands a left hook. Just left jab, that straight right hand. Manny's his war. I think it's becoming obvious. You know, we said it going in. Mayweather respects. Hard left hand. He has Manny Pacquiao. He wants him. No. It's not Manny. It's not Manny. He's not you. In the final moments of the fight, who would still the show? 49-0 equals Rocky Marciano's how of the fight might wane because it took so long for the rewards to do it. He can do it. The guy that throw was good of him. I think that's a hard one. As long as he was picked the ring without the tactical ammunition to open up, he was stretching it out to maximize the dollars. He was right. We get to the last 10 seconds. The celebration is probably beginning. The event was concluded with the two congratulating each other. <laughs> and even before the scorecards were read, Mayweather felt pretty confident. Mayweather threw seven more punches. In favor 
of the winner by unanimous decision. Floyd. After 36 minutes of action, it was Mayweather who got the decision. But Manny Pacquiao's a tough competitor, so I had to take my time and watch him extremely close. He had moments in the fight, you know, I kept him on the outside. I was a smart fighter, I outboxed him. Uh, Manny Pacquiao's a tough competitor. He's a true champion at heart. Both was at our best tonight. What's your impression of this fight? Got him many times, I saw the punches, and I think I, I believe, I, I thought I won the fight. Manny lost by unanimous decision, but there were still fans who felt that he had done enough to earn a victory. In my books, Floyd won maximum four to five rounds, that's it. I saw little to no offense. If don't nobody hurt each other bad and one guy throwing the more punches, then how do you score the card? Yeah. The aggressor wins the fight. That was Evander Holyfield's point. Pacquiao dominated Mayweather throughout the entire Not fight. True. Oh, no, it no, is no. true. Not true. It is true. Just uh, be defensive and at the end, uh, he won. Pacquiao was the aggressor. I got him in at least seven rounds being more aggressive. Took this fight and put it in a vacuum. Manny Pacquiao would win that fight. And if that wasn't enough, Pacquiao then revealed that he didn't go into the fight 100%. Here in my, in my, my right uh, shoulder. I thought the progress was good enough and uh, that's why we stayed with the fight. What we want to do is uh, we cannot go because uh, my shoulder. Mayweather didn't believe that Manny was injured, so he sternly ruled out any possibility of a rematch, even though he had one more fight left before he would retire. I don't want to do business with them anymore because he's a sore loser. You know, a true champion can bounce back. Excuses, excuses, excuses. Rematch or not, Pacquiao had participated in the largest boxing event ever and fans wondered if the legend would now hang up his gloves, step away from boxing and enjoy his success. After the biggest fight of his life, Pacquiao took time out from the sport of boxing to rest up before he was going to give boxing his last effort. And for his next opponent, he chose Timothy Bradley so he could finalize yet another trilogy in his career. He won the first one and then I won the second one, so we need to have a, a third fight. And I chose Bradley because he's different than before than we, we had the last fight. Bradley looked reinvigorated after two wins against Jesse Vargas and Brandon Rios. And if I'm gonna win this fight, it's now. It's now. I'm ready for everything. More than any, any other fight that I've ever been in, is now. Let's see if Bradley has learned something. Let's see if Pacquiao is a little bit older, Bradley is a little wiser. What was different this time was that Bradley had joined with new trainer, Teddy Atlas. I said yes to him because I thought I could help him. Boom, 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 boom. That's the smart person that I know. Teddy Atlas was the former trainer of Mike Tyson decades ago and was known for his fiery attitude. We're firemen. We are firemen! Freddie Roach seemed sarcastically unimpressed with Teddy Atlas's training style. Good storyteller. I mean, I like the story about the firemen and how they're not scared of fire. You think I care about what the big that guy? That I care what he thinks of me? As for Manny Pacquiao, he announced that this would be his last fight. I announce it right now because I might this, you know, this is my last fight. After this, I'm going to hang up my glove. Before I retire, my last fight is W, not L. So now it was time to see if Pacquiao would go out in style. Has been the better fighter, but is he still the better fighter? He has more left. Is at round 25. Um, so unorthodox in his attack. I think it's coming back moment by moment, though. The early rounds were very controlled, but the fighters were fired up by the middle round. Pacquiao looks very comfortable. Showing you anything you hadn't anticipated. Well, in your arm, he's a very tough guy. Badly having a much better. You know, and I hate to say it, but once a good left uppercut, my friend. And the left uppercut caught Pacquiao right on the earlobes. Probably throwing a left to the body, followed by that right hook to the head, so the right hook still is operable. In round seven, Pacquiao scored a flash knockdown at the end of the round. Get him up when Tim covers up the answer. To get the momentum back. 
Straight left, followed by a right hook that landed right, right on the chin. Uh, he was up in the And that's a knockdown. Kill Bradley slipped. Pacquiao got the better of it in the last minute. Round eight. Bradley fought back well. Come on. Let me see that concentration. Ah, you might do you think you're totally in control of the fight. That's exactly what. Oh, 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 he do bad footwork. He didn't move his right foot back first like he should have, but Tim was able to catch up to him with that left hook. To the fight, and another left hook. And he may have hurt Pacquiao. Now they're chanting Pacquiao, Pacquiao. But in round nine, Pacquiao didn't let Bradley back into the fight. An effective one, too. Nice that yeah, hurt Bradley. Yeah, that's a good one. Didn't move out of that no parking zone, and bam, that count with the left, he was all balanced right there. And Pacquiao just threw the shot because he knew Tim was on it. But he's knocked him down twice here. In the last round, Bradley's only chance of winning was going for a knockout. Fired the second punch so fluidly. Distractions in his life. Senate can the right hand for Bradley. Good left hand for 15 Good seconds to go. The decision was unanimous. After the fight, Pacquiao announced his retirement. And now I end my boxing career and helping people, uh, helping the, the Filipino people. The boxing world felt Pacquiao had more left. He still had it. He was still among the pound for pound best in the sport. This showed me that Manny Pacquiao was far from done. But for now, Pacquiao's great career had come to an end. A month after his win in the ring, Pacquiao scored a massive win in politics. Pacquiao became senator back home in the Philippines. God put me in this situation to serve honestly, to help the people. But it didn't take too long into retirement before Manny began to miss the sport he loved and he announced that he would come back to fight Jesse Vargas. Um, I'm happy to be back. I, I feel uh, lonely and sad uh, when you are thinking you're not longer active with, uh, with the sport of boxing. You know, I want to box, I want to continue because boxing is my passion. Jesse had recently engaged in a competitive fight with Tim Bradley, but soon went on to win the WBO welterweight title. Come along great, couldn't be any better. And I'm, I'm ready, I'm more than ready. This Saturday night, Jesse Vargas will come out victorious. I say you must obey. Good luck to both of you. The distance so fast to the man to my right here, Timothy Brown. It wasn't long before Pacquiao showed Vargas he packed dynamite. Does that work? Oh! 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 Pacquiao has what he does. He blocked your jab. He'll block your jab with his right. Vargas responded well. Together, when he goes and he reaches down and good combination. Final seconds. The other, the, the one. In the middle rounds, Vargas landed good right hand shots. Oh, oh. <laughs> like Pacquiao is really an incredible fighter who does that. Oh, and a lead right nice shot by right. Vargas. Extensively because that right eye is damaged. Anyway. Good Ooh. shot right there. Like these big guys. Yeah, yes, he can. Good right hand by Vargas. You know? <laughs> Real good round right now. That's when he stepped to it. But you gotta take it from the champion. Is it looking like oh, there it is. on Jesse Vargas? Exactly. And that's why he's starting to turn it up. In the later rounds, Pacquiao had to increase the intensity if he wanted to dominate. Oh. And a wild right hand. And Vargas is bringing it. Yes, he is. Good right hand. Looking for it, there it is. Oh, yeah, comes in. Oh, he's like a shark. When he smells blood, oh. he goes and gets Left it. Here are these punches. Four rounds. That back, yeah, I want it. In the last two rounds, Vargas still had his fighting spirit. And uh, he's trying oh. to take out. That's being ruled to slow. Blood would be flowing. They wouldn't even be thinking about stopping it. Good right hook by Pacquiao. Yeah. Bigger I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm just saying, not more. Come on, more of this to the body. Oh, and then they kept him under, under punch. Oh, comes in. Oh. Vargas is completely still. Yes. 
Let's see if they can close the show. It was competitive, but Manny was declared the winner. Manny! And like that, Manny had a new title belt in his possession. 2017, Manny Pacquiao was continuing on and he was set to defend his title against the relatively easy challenge of Jeff Horn. Jeff was an undefeated fighter from Australia and Manny agreed to stage the fight in Jeff's birthplace of Brisbane. However, despite the hometown advantage, the former school teacher Jeff was expected to be easily overcome by the legendary Pacquiao. Truth is this, I don't think for one second Bob Arum thought that Jeff Horn could beat Manny Pacquiao. But Jeff was confident that he would shock the world. He is a human and he can be stopped, so um, I'm hoping just to emulate that. I'd watched Manny Pacquiao a lot already. Kind of switch into another personality when I'm in the ring and I just, I just go, I've got to do what I need to do to win. On a sunny day in front of a packed crowd, Manny would defend his welterweight title. But he is the underdog against the great Pac-Man. Jeff brought the fight straight to Pacquiao. Horn slides around to his left, sets up. Manny comes in, gets off. Just Jeff can't afford to sit still, which he's not doing. Which that's what Jeff Horn there. He's having some good. When they get on the inside, giving it to Manny Pacquiao the first part of this round. Good one. That fell oh. the legs. Manny can Manny misses it over the head. Oh. Catches it. Uppercut he lands. In orange. Now Manny oh. wants to pick it up. He gets proud to see a fight in Australia. Oh, good left rip. Solid right in. Good is awkward. And he's effective. Good, good shot. Oh, lovely shot. Right on the chin there. He wore it well though. Nice combination of punch. Jeff's aggression was great for Pacquiao's power. Jeff just doesn't sit still. He just throws punches from all over. What he's been doing is he crashed into the body. Oh. Nice uppercut on the inside. Oh. Does he have him hurt? I don't know. Oh, nice up. Manny was more accurate, but Jeff was more aggressive. Fantastic action there by Jeff. Hey, hey. Jeff has got to catch that lead in. Get his rhythm. No, that's the, that's the right thing. Time Manny's getting off first in the fight. Manny had a terrific round nine. Got by Manny Pacquiao. Oh, Just when you knock down. Jeff Horn shot the pressure on Manny Pacquiao. Look at this! Horn's fighting in pure cart. Big right hand by Manny Pacquiao. But he's still on his feet. There won't be any right. Great right oh. hand. Right oh. hand. Big left hand. Good catch. Round. He did everything oh. but drop Jeff. Right now, Danny. Oh. He cut. Jeff survived, and the two both gave it their best in the remaining minutes. Oh. Manny catches him downstairs. Horn back. What I'd say. Yeah. Oh. Damn Manny. Oh, right hand by Jeff. He's very fatigued. You can see it in his face. Oh, he's staggering. Look at this. They both want it so bad. Oh. The world seconds to the belt. An all-time legend. How about it, folks? Manny Pacquiao. The judges would now determine the winner. And no! Unfortunately, it seemed that many didn't agree with the judges. And I thought Pacquiao won the fight if you go by the real rule. There's a congratulations, great effort. I thought you lost, but great effort. There was disappointment in the boxing world. Crime that they committed by robbing Manny Pacquiao tonight. He was landing more punches. It's stuff like this that hurts the sport of boxing. It was bogus. But Jeff felt that he had done enough to earn his first title saying that I, I didn't win the fight, but I felt like I won the fight. I'm happy with a rematch. In the end, Manny opted against a rematch. He doesn't want to go back to Australia to fight Horn. So there we are. Whether his last fight was a robbery or not, Pacquiao had lost three of his last eight fights. And the question was, should the 11 time champion now retire? 39 years old now, Manny hadn't had a knockout since 2009. They don't see the power that they once saw. They don't see that Manny Pacquiao anymore. But a fight was made with the heavy hitting Argentine, Lucas Matisse. Matisse had won by knockout in 36 of his 39 wins and was the reigning WBA champion. 
This was to be the first fight in years without Freddie Roach, as Manny decided to go with Buboy Fernandez as head trainer for this fight. Between the change in trainer, old age and ferocity of his opponent, this was a tough fight for Pac-Man. Marking the first time in 17 years that Freddie Roach is not in Pacquiao. Never told Freddie Roach that he was quote unquote. Yeah, told us he thought that Matisse was going to come to him, but it's Pacquiao pushing. Pacquiao was looking elite from round one. Jabs over the top of Matisse, as you see a nice. So far, good body work there. He caught Matisse with a right hand. In round three, Manny's power made its mark. Oh. Quickly, he ducks to his left, eats that uppercut. See it coming, as I always say, the punch you don't see is the one that hurts you the most. He's still being cautious. He has a dangerous man in front of him. You know, I was surprised to hear that. And Tise still looks like he's in a bit of trouble. Let's see if he can find himself here between another good round. By the end of round five, the power of Pacquiao made an impact again. Manny Pacquiao would beat from myself from being Love the use of the right jab. Looks like he's going to be right, but it may not be him that gets the win. The best round so far for Batiste. Flicks another jab and wings a right hook over the top. Okay, your your equilibrium take your legs away from you. He's finding his form. He takes the knee. The second knockdown. Here, straight left hand to the body there, and then one up top. Yeah, it seems like he's not exactly sure where Manny is. Manny was in complete control. Knockout to get a win type of territory. Entering round, started with a jab. Back on his Oh, and a left hand, a good one there for Lucas Batisse. In round seven, Manny's power was too much. Very strong in there. This was the performance that he needed. He just yep. spits it. There it is. Yep. Champion of the world, Pacquiao! Manny, your first KO win since 2009. We did a good job, and uh, thanks to all uh, my team. Thank you so much for all your support. In 2019, Manny was looking to keep the momentum going, and he scheduled a fight with Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner was the brash former protege of Floyd Mayweather. He was a four-time former world champion and was looking to revive his own career after failing to live up to the high expectations from his earlier days. But at 40 years old with a career as a senator, fans wondered how many had the drive to continue on. But at age of 40, I can still give my best. I don't need to continue with boxing, but because of my passion of this sport, I'm still here. He was sure that he could still contend with the top fighters. To prove to the boxing fans that Manny Pacquiao is still in the pot, okay? Pacquiao just showed us against Matisse that he's just as effective as he ever was. Going into the fight, Team Pacquiao was confident. I think that we can keep our balance with that with, with, a, with a good steady charge and a lot of combinations. There's an uh, opportunity that uh, I'm going to knock him out and I will grab that opportunity. Adrian Broner, however, shared the same confidence for himself, warning Pacquiao that he wasn't coming to lose. I hope it be all to him that he's fighting Adrian Broner. I'm one of a kind too now, four-time world champion in four different weight classes. Me at 100%, you know, I can stop him with whatever he brings to the table. It's the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA Welterweight Championship of the World. It's showtime! <laughs> the problem. Bless you both. Touch up. Fancy footwork and of course the power against a The two had opposing styles. And the last four sharp counter right hand by Broner. Two weeks notice. The club overwhelming favorite more than he has thrown in those last five fights. Double jump. Sir, because Pacquiao hasn't really landed anything of significance. No. Nothing 
Send Oscar De La Hoya to retire in that process here in the first three minutes. Pacquiao. Manny leapt in with punches and bunches, while Barona chose to throw selectively. 15 seconds left and Pacquiao. Pacquiao trying to stick the jab. Broner counters again. Broner countered with an effect. Broner, and there's Pacquiao lands with the right hook and the jab, followed by the left. But Broner doing a good job of pairing, and then we, well, we, yeah. we thought it would be the carry shot. Right. And right. You've started to counter and sharpshoot him. Now you've got to start upping the the end yeah. throwing combination. Good jam by Pacquiao there. there. And that left hand by Pacquiao was strong. That's Floyd Mayweather. So let's totally put it. It is a chess. Pacquiao was risking running into a counter shot, but he soon began to break Broner down. Pacquiao putting the pressure on Broner. Broner takes advantage, but it's still Pacquiao leading. Back Broner. Pacquiao bay with the jab, but here comes Pacquiao again, explodes in. And that's what's one. in this round so far over three rounds. This is oh. the left hand. Pacquiao again. Adrian tried his best to slow Pacquiao's tempo. A minute and a half left in the six again. Nixon. Trying her. Yeah, Brunner's landed some good counters in this round, but two. at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Oh. Yes. In round seven, Manny caught Broner on the ropes. But that is not the case now. Oh, oh, left hands and stagger Broner and Pacquiao. Adrian Broner often gives you, and that's a good straight left hand. That was one of the best body counts. Pacquiao would get his left hand in. Now, that was a left hand thrown with uh, authority. Arena now, Pacquiao loading up Broner in the corner. An offensive onslaught has been a terrific round for the 40-year-old legend. Adrian survived the round. He is 11 years younger, but he just down in a fight. Question. Oh, good counter. He's getting young. Decision that he's going to try to take charge. Absolutely. Name of his career. Again, the second youngest four division. It's a counter. You automatically create. Oh, and there's a left hand that backed up. Manny was strong in the remaining rounds. Broner is 11 years younger, but he just stayed a right. Now Pacquiao lands a left. Pacquiao it's sort of looked up to that. Senator Manny Pacquiao. Broner felt he won, but the answer would now be revealed. And still. It was unanimous, and Pacquiao was then asked about potentially fighting Mayweather again. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to fight if he's, if he's willing to come back in boxing. A defeated Adrian was disgusted with the decision. Everybody out there know I beat him. I hit him clean more times, I beat him. Regardless of how Adrian felt, this fight showed Pacquiao was still on top of his game. Manny denied talks of retirement as Keith Thurman was next on the hit list. Thurman held the super version of the WBA title and Keith felt that he was going to be recognized as the real WBA champion after this fight. I'm going to retire Manny Pacquiao and I want to be a man of my word. I plan on outperforming and making it more exciting than the last fight that he had. Thurman made it clear that he was unimpressed with Pacquiao's last few showings. Mm. He ain't do nothing to Jeff Horn, bro. Yeah. Those hands didn't touch. Go back and watch the fight. Yeah. That's the day I gave him the nickname T-Rex Arms. <laughs> he can give up or he can retire. There's not a third option. I mean, I know he likes to quote Bible verses, so I'll let you know he's getting crucified. But the trash talk may have just been giving Manny more motivation. He feels good, he's punching well, and I think he actually wants to knock this opponent out. So I can use these uh, advantages to, to my opponent. In the face to face, Keith gave Manny the most trash talk he'd ever received. I would love to be the man that destroys Manny Pacquiao. He doesn't have much left. Manny Pacquiao, T Rex arms. He's like this big, you know? He's this big, my punch is this big. Manny stayed focused on the fight. It's helping me, because um, that's give me more motivation and work hard. He will be broken down at some point in the fight. I keep my mouth shut and let him talk. Let my fist um, talk in the ring. I can't wait to punch you. Me too. Event of the evening. 
Protect yourself at all times. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Touch him up. Ooh. That was a nice right hand, but Thurman went down in the first round. Danny Pacquiao. Oh, oh down oh. goes Thurman. Quick with those legs. Throwing a combination, punching, cat. Now, now Thurman wasn't, wasn't quick enough to get it out of the reach of that punch. Thurman. Despite the knockdown, the fight was competitive. Oh, Maddox. oh yeah, he's making up that ground though from, from the other side. If a judge is looking at that, he's going to think that he did a little bit down the line. Keith's nickname is one time. I don't know if he's got one. By Furman so far, Pacquiao with six. He got occasionally, he's got to do it most of the round. Here in Vegas, we'll sort it back. Good right hand by Thurman. Pacquiao had the advantage early up in the first couple of rounds. Keith Good right hand. Has come on. Come. Good stunt Thurman for a second. Let's check in with Heidi Andro. Heidi. Pacquiao catches Thurman. It was six years old. Oh, big. And this is a different angle that Manny's given you. He's there and he's not. A bit more and full combinations. And then midway through round six. Left hand of the body and that right hook right over the top that is used for years. Manny had got the better of the first half of the fight. Let's go, come on. Boy, Pacquiao still has it at 40 years old. He's still fast. Thurman was now picking it up. And here we go. Now late in round one. There one minute remaining. Thurman has got to win this half of the fight. Or else, ooh, oh, oh, right by Thurman. Good right uppercut by Manny. Oh, those punches are real. Oh, and a great right hand by Thurman. Nice combination by Thurman oh, and yeah. the right hook. Him occupied, mixing off his eye. Oh, Thurman. he's got to get it back and even it up on the judges' scorecards. That's what he's doing. Oh, Thurman coming on good at the end here. This could steal the round for him. The championship rounds were crucial as Thurman had been doing well in the last few rounds. Both Pacquiao and Thurman. He's flicking out his right hand. That always precedes and, and. Manny landed a spectacular shot to suffocate Thurman. It, felt, it didn't look like a, a horrible head the beginning. It went backwards. There's another head by right hand or in his body or something. Yeah, that part. Pacquiao. Oh, good, good right, right hand, hand by Thurman. Yeah. Both fighters needed to push hard in the remaining moments to seal a victory. With Manny Pacquiao, the only eight division champ turn 41 in December. See, Pacquiao's doing the right thing up there when he should be looking for a way back. He should be looking to be able to do it. Oh, oh good right hand left. Final second. The judges confirmed the thoughts of most spectators. In favor of the winner, Manny Pacman. At 40 years old, Pacquiao was now champion more than two decades after he won his first title. I'm sure uh, you're happy tonight because uh, you, get, you see a good fight. Manny was now turning his attention to the other two champions who were scheduled to fight soon. Yeah, I hope I, I, I can watch that fight. I'm going to, to witness the fight. For now, it was time to celebrate a huge victory. In the welterweight division, Errol Spence and Sean Porter got it on to unify the WBC and IBF titles. The fight was action packed. It went the full 12 round distance, and Spence came out on top, immediately calling out Manny after the fight. It'd be my honor to fight him next. Errol Spence was a highly rated champion, and since Pacquiao was now 42, this was a tough test for the aging legend. Basically, it's a young line on the old line, and I'm gonna take his king. Two years off, I think you have to have a little bit of questions coming in, whether he can be that same exact fighter. Freddie felt that skills would overcome the age difference. But I just think Manny's a better fighter than he is, and I think Manny can beat him. Unfortunately, 
fans would be left to wonder if Freddie's words were right, as Errol had to pull out of the fight. Spence's replacement would be the Cuban fighter, Yordanis Ugas. It's kind of his kind of fighter that you cannot understand. The impressive Yordanis Ugas was also a WBA champion after the WBA stripped many of the title due to inactivity and upgraded Ugas to the status of champion. So this fight would decide who the real WBA welterweight champion was. Going to uh, to settle down our uh, the belt. That will be a belt. Uh, don't miss it. It's going to be a good fight and more action in the ring uh, on Saturday. I'll see you there. Before the fight, many wondered if this would be Manny's last fight. It depends of the of the result. It depends of the of the fight. But you know, I love doing this. I'm happy doing this. For now, Manny had to put all of his focus on the task ahead, as your Dennis was looking to take his spot. A charm. There's Diana Leon. Ugas normally throws 20 out. He's got a beautiful jab and he usually throws two at a time. Manny, Manny landed a good right. He should be throwing. Pacquiao was stopped. Ugas outlanded. To give uh, Ugas a different. He's always been able to close that gap. Remember, he fought what? More accurate. 45 seconds to the bound. It's just a different rhythm. It's a different other gear at his age. Early on, Manny focused on combinations while Ugas focused on jabs and counter punches. Thomas Delorme, Omar. So what's, what's the look you're looking for? I'm looking for in and out. I'm looking for pivots. Have to make this a war. If you stand at distance, it'll... Pacquiao was ferocious in the early rounds. It was a warning, not a point taken away. Okay. A few years ago, you know what it looks like. Big the right there, right there. Good right there. Good right hand there by Ugas comes in. We are halfway yeah. through this fight. Let's go upstairs. Is what's going to lead Ugas to a success. Ugas did well to slow Pacquiao down. I'm telling you, so the, what, we, what I felt, Island, those fighters, very intellectual fighters. So we, Ugas outlanded. Said, what we said was. I know that right was, hand is struggling. Too much moving straight exactly. backwards for, for uh, Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao tries to come out. To do what he's doing. I think that's how a little turn and a little left hand. I don't know if Manny's losing this fight. I'm encouraged on the other fighter. Those shots are left. Good hard right hand by Ugas. It was Ugas's rangy punches versus Manny's aggressive attacks. Oh, did you think in there getting you the parry? Now we're in the second round. Ugas put hard right hand up. In the last few moments, both men pushed hard. Uh, Pacquiao, wish I would like the coaching right there from Silas. Oh, oh. Change now. Maybe with it all. Good hard final 10 seconds. Fans standing on their feet. Ugas believes he has done wow. enough. And is at the end. There was tension as the fans waited to hear who won. And still champion Jordani. It was reasonably close. Pacquiao gave his perspective on the fight. Was he more difficult than you expected? The problem for me because uh, I didn't uh, make an adjustment right away. In my more than uh, 20 years in boxing, I, I make you enjoyment and uh, we lost tonight, but uh, you know, I did my best. After the loss, many announced his retirement from the sport. Might be uh, finished my career at boxing, but uh, I'm so happy of what I have done in boxing. Thank you to all of you. Thank you, boxing. If ever one needed an inspirational example to show them what's possible, they'd need to look no further than Manny Pacquiao. They'd need to listen to no more than the story of a young boy whose hunger for success was matched only by the hunger in his stomach. They'd need to understand nothing more than the fact that the kid who came from poverty rose to heights that few men ever will. They'd only need to trust that they could follow the lead of a fighter who put it all on the line to change the prospects of his family. Manny was a man who fought with bravery and a heart that contained the fire we all yearn to have. And through his exciting displays which entertained the whole planet, we all got to vicariously experience such a flame. If ever there was a throwback fighter, 
this was it. He's looking like the immortal Armstrong. He wasn't just a modern great, but an all-time legend. That might have beaten any fighter in his weight class ever. It was amazing to see the materialization of such a dream. I want to help my family, my mother. That's how I know boxing. It's the only way that I can uh, support my uh, siblings. After taking a risk and going overseas, he showed us the powerful results of unity. Once in a while, Jack. Guys like this come along. They had a bond deeper than just boxing. He helped me a lot. I can fight without the free throws in my, my corner. And with the mindset of a champion, he didn't waste his opportunity. And hard work, determination. When the time comes that you become lazy, then forget about boxing. Which explained why such pre-fight smiles and laughs could turn into such fury inside of the ring. The, the watch and the pay to, to see a good fight. A man of humility who never forgot where he came from. I never changed in my life that even I, I have a money. And he never forgot the source of his strength. This is God's grace that he raised me from nothing into something. From teenage champ to oldest welterweight champ, he represented his beloved countrymen well. Give happiness to my country, to my fellow Filipinos. Making it no surprise that he became a public servant. I have a chance to help the people and I have a chance to make them happy. With such an approach, he achieved his desire of being worth remembering. I want to be remembered as a good example to all the fighters. His accomplishments have etched him into history. You have not yet seen the best of Manny Pacquiao. If anything he's done is something to go by, then there is still great things to come from the legend that is Manny Pacquiao.